We will be demonstrating how to properly plug cables into your power supply. The Prime series, being fully modular, gives you the versatility to only use the cables that are needed for your system. The first plug we will plug in will be your main ATX 24 pin to 18 and 10 pin cable. Locate the 18 and 10 pin side of the cable and find the side that has the clip on the connector. Plug in the 18 and 10 pin connector to the PSU. Next we have the EPS 12 volt cable or CPU cable. This is another cable that plugs directly into your motherboard besides the main 24 pin ATX cable. Examine the cable and you will notice that the connectors are clearly marked as CPU and PSU. Plug in the side that says PSU to one of the CPU PCIe 8 pin slots on the power supply. To connect your video card to the power supply, you will need to use PCIe cables. Grab the 6 plus 2 pin PCIe cable and looking at the ends, you will see that it is also marked PCIe and PSU on each end. As with the previous cable, plug the PSU end of the cable to one of the power supply 8 pin slots. For high power consumption video cards that require 8 plus 8 or 8 plus 6 pin layouts, Seasonic highly recommends using two separate PCIe cables to spread the load evenly between the two cables. This is to avoid overloading the connectors when your card is under high load, such as heavy gaming. Next we will be connecting our peripheral cables. These are the six pin slots you see on the power supply and are labeled peripherals. First we will be connecting the SATA cable. Depending on the wattage of the power supply you have, the SATA cables will come with different amounts of connectors. Peripheral cables will not be labeled with which end connects to the power supply. Connect the 6-pin cable to the 6-pin slot. Following that, we have a Molex cable. In case you need to connect any other components you may have that require a Molex connection. Same as the SATA cable, plug the 6-pin cable into the PSU. We have also included a 4-pin floppy Molex adapter. To use this, plug the adapter into one of the Molex connectors. The cables you see connected to the power supply are pretty much what you need to run a normal, standard PC. Connecting the cables to the power supply before you install the PSU in your case is recommended. You have better leverage when plugging the cables in and you won't have to work in a confined space. Your next step in this process would be to route your cables along your PC case to connect them to the actual components. Then it is up to you how you want to manage your cables. Good cable management equals improved airflow, which equals better cooling for your PC.